We are drilling 672 holes in this piece of cast iron right here. So this is one of those times where like, it's all about the ears, right? Cause I have a white wall of coolant right here. Double checked all my numbers, made sure that everything was perfect. I dry ran the drill above, went through the entire program. Therefore I have confidence. And now I'm listening to every single drilled hole. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you hear that cut? Oh, it's drilling so good. Now, one thing that I'll say is when you actually look at the HPR drill, this drill is absolutely amazing. It's at least twice as fast as most drills out there for cast iron. One thing I'll show you is right here, 103 inches per minute consistent cuts. Think about that. That is 103 inches per minute. We're doing 672 holes in this big old piece of cast iron. We're going 1.85 deep, right? To get a little bit deeper than the thickness of the material, which is 1.6. The way that I got that was I actually looked at the kinematic parameters. I looked at the surface foot and they called out 430 surface foot to 690 surface foot. So what I wanted to do was actually go high on that surface foot, but not over. So we went at 610. The drill is an amazing drill, and the corners actually have a radius that allows it to just feed hard and not break down. Therefore, I have a lot of confidence in this drill, all right? So surface foot on the high end, but not over. But just for this test and to show you guys what it can do, we're actually testing it at 22 thousandths per rev, right? So we say feed per rev or inches per rev, it's at 22 thousandths, which is awesome, right? Because Canon Metal recommends 13 thousandths to 20 thousandths. So we're actually breaking that ceiling right there and we're at 22 thousandths and it is sounding beautiful. You know, if I'm drilling other materials and I hear this kind of like raw like sound, I'll actually think, oh, maybe the drill's getting a little bit dull, but not in this case. This is cast iron. It's a dense material. It's abrasive, right? And it breaks up into these little chips. Like some of the chips are even like sand, right? Just abrasive. So you can actually hear this thing just going in boom, 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 consistent. Ooh. Synergy 735, that's the coolant that we're using. We have the coolant up at 10%, all right? I go 7% when I'm doing soft metals, aluminum and all that, but on the machines where we're running super alloy, titanium, steel, cast iron, we go at 10 to 12%. So this is the HPR drill. This is the exact drill that we have in the machine that we're testing right now. It is a 12.7 millimeter drill, which equates to like 0.49999, right, in inches. So it's basically a half inch, all right? Look how beautiful that drill is, right? We're running coolant through. Look at that edge right there. Look at that point. That is a patented corner radius that Kenamento puts on these tools, and it allows us to actually go at incredible feeds and the tools last forever. Like, look at this. We're actually drilling 672 holes. The consistency in that sound that you hear behind me is just a thing of beauty. If you're running cast iron and you're running at 20 inches per minute or 30 inches per minute or even 50 inches per minute, that's 103 inches per minute. So look at the tool, look at the application, look at the numbers and understand that time is money. And if you can feed that fast and you have your own products in place and you're manufacturing those products day in and day out and you can double your feed rate, that means that the price for manufacturing, that part is dropping significantly because of the type of tools that you're using. So again, this is just a test to show you guys. We are pushing the limits right here.
crazy, right? Cast iron is a dense, abrasive material, but this HPR drill from Canametal just pounded right through it. No issues. Woo, let's check this thing out. Now that is a thing of beauty right there. The holes look absolutely perfect and beautiful. Even the last holes right here, look at the surface finish inside that hole. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's look on the back side and feel it. Ooh, and it's pretty smooth. That means like there's no burrs on the back side right there. This HPR drill looks absolutely beautiful, incredible. Proof is in the pudding. You see all the holes drilled perfectly. 672 holes at 103 inches per minute. It was an incredible test. I hope you guys learned a lot. And think about it, no matter what you run, whether it's cast iron, ink and L, aluminum, Look at the tools, look at the feed rates, look at the application and the art of machining. Because I guarantee you, if you actually dissect that process, bring in the right tools, you'll take your times down, which will increase your profits and help your company make money, which allows them to then pay you money. So to end this video, I just wanna to touch on a couple things, okay? We ran Synergy 735 coolant through the spindle on this HPR drill. We have a HydroForce holder with a sleeve locking the drill in place so we can secure the drill so the coolant can only come out through the coolant holes. And when you look at a half inch diameter hole, Canometal recommends 430 to 690 surface foot. In this particular test, we went at 610. When you look at feed per rev, Canometal recommends 13 to 20 thousandths for the half inch drill. We went at 22 thousandths for this test just to show you that it's possible. One thing I wanna say is if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, put your comments down below because we do answer them. Boom, I will see you in the next video. Titans of CNC, I'm out.